All right, guys, got the shop cleaned up today. The shop, which is actually a garage. Got it cleaned up today, so I figured I'd do a little shop tour. Here we go. All right, don't mind the blue barrels. Those are for deer feeder. Anyways, so this is it right here. This little corner of heaven. Um, this is my vi These are my vices right here. Uh, this little doohickey right here is a sanding sled. Um, Nick Wheeler uses one and we copied it and it works awesome. What it does is these little Allen keys push up on this micarta and it makes your blade really rigid when you're hand sanding so that's awesome. Um, got some clamps, clamps, never have enough clamps. Um, this here is a ferret chloride tube. Ferret chloride's in there. Ferret chloride. That's for etching whatnot. Just made this at Lowe's or whatever. Um, shop vac that doesn't really work very well. Some old belts. These are uh, scalloped belts. I haven't used them yet. Um, they're a recommendation from Sean Hatcher for handle shaping. Um, I was having problems with the two inch belts digging into the handles. So hopefully this will amend that. All right, um, here's a chair. Sitting that a lot because I'm lazy. Up here is all sorts of stuff. True Oil just got that. Um, this right here is for hammering in press fit guards on hidden tangs, which I haven't even done yet, but that's what that's for. Um, dropping stuff. Still drop, whatever, okay. This Trusco toolbox from Japan, pretty neat. Um, got that, holds, you know, miscellaneous hand tools, drill bits, whatever. Little railroad spike, anvil. Magnet, Panavice. I really recommend these Panavices. They're like 30 bucks from Amazon. Get you one. They're awesome, indispensable. Um, different stuff down here, some dip, more hand tools, angle grinder, use a lot of that. Um, it's my Kydex press, propane, torch thing. Mainly burn bugs with that. This is a uh, catch bucket for my KMG grinder. All right, right now, it's got the uh, Norton Blaze on there, which is pretty much what I exclusively use. Um, Norton Blazes are awesome. Made in America. I like Made in America. If they are made in Texas, it'd be better. Um, made this little handle the other day at Bill Fitzgerald's house. Just a wrought iron, well not even think it's wrought iron, but square bar handle thing with the pool ball. Really makes it easy to change out the belts. VFD, you know, your standard KMG setup. Burglades! All right, um, this is kind of a new thing for me, having belts that aren't trashed. Spent a pretty penny on these, but should last me a little while. Paper towel holder. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like to plan out my knives. So I'll just write what they are, and so I have some direction, and I don't get lost while I'm making them. Sometimes I keep pictures of my knives that I'm making. Hopefully I can make that. I can draw better than I can make knives, so wish me luck. Um, yeah, and here's a little uh, drill press from, I think, Sears or whatever. It's got a light. That's helpful. It's got a laser. Not really that helpful, but it's cool. Burls and Blades, check out Mike and Farron Moore. They're cool, they make awesome handle material, which is found right in here. Handle materials, favorite stuff right here, man. All types of coolness, yeah. It's all from Burls and Blades or Pete's Custom Coa. Both guys, awesome. Um, Kydex junk, mainly just rivets, whatever. It's my cheap ass etcher works gets the job done um this is my clean table clean table what i'm working on got a couple hidden tangs right here some fixed blade stuff um a knife i already made a glock for protection because you know there's weirdos out there stuff i probably jacked this up pretty bad so i don't know about that one this right here is for guards guard material whatever so on and so forth. Yeah, that is pretty much it. It's kind of a bare bones shop. Um, I'm blessed with the material, with the materials and space that they have. Uh, oh yeah, this floor. This floor is awesome. 
One, it keeps you from being fatigued from staying out here all day. And two, it keeps you from dropping a, well, it doesn't keep you from dropping, but in case if you drop a finished blade, it doesn't scratch and you don't cry as much unless you drop it in your foot. But it's okay, my knives are dull as hell. So, yeah, I'm, I'm joking. Not really. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to check me out on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, obviously the YouTube if you're watching this. Subscribe, follow, like, yada, yada, yada.